Hello dear watch freaks and welcome back to my channel The Uhrenbox aka The Watchbox. My name is Karga and today you see the face to the hands if you are not an Instagram follower because there is already a few pictures of me. And today I gonna unbox 5 new watches, 10 more on the way and after the unboxing I want to give you some updates about the channel and how the next reviews will look alike. So have fun with the unboxings and we see each other in few minutes. So as I said, we gonna unbox a couple of watches now, five, another ten are on the way to me. So yeah, let's take them out and see what we got. I need to take out one of my gloves because otherwise I can't unwrap it. All. Not so good yet. Yeah? So first one, steel dive, which one we got here and here is the bronze SD1975S. It's for a friend of mine, but yeah, he was kind enough and told me go unbox and review the watch afterwards, you can send it to me. So we try to make it as nice as possible. By steel dive you need to pay extra money for the buckle. That's a little bit pain, but yeah. Looks really nice. Yeah, but we don't want to make a review now. We just want to see the watch and gorgeous, really gorgeous. And here is the Sun Martin. So, a really nice one. We have the Proxima box, but maybe you did already see. I have unboxed it already and I couldn't wait because this watch is freaking awesome. I love this gilt dial and bezel and everything else on this watch. I also ordered the waffle strap from Proxima just to see how the quality is. You will know it in the review. The bracelet which came in the box and yeah, this Jubilee bracelet with solid end links I found by Heimdaller. It's perfect. This watch looks now so gorgeous. I can't take it off and on the other hand the Sun Martin Bronze I'm totally in love with these watches but yeah do some real unboxings Karga and here we have the Psycho Sumo Homage from Steel Dive also a really really nice watch the sumo in original why did i order this watch is i ordered the san martin sumo and i need it for compare reasons because i want to see which one is better in the watch itself in the other hand, I want to see if the bracelet from Sun Martin fits inside the Steel Dive. As you guys know, Steel Dive doesn't provide a bracelet for the Sumo. You just can choose between those silicone straps. This watch looks really great. So, and two Sun Martins. <laughs> two more are on the way. <laughs> so let's see what we have here these two watches gave me really really a hard time i'm waiting since eight weeks on them and they got stopped by the customs they don't 
called me and yeah but here they are first the they just homage in marple wow this looks fantastic damn wow i'm really really impressed on this dial this looks so fantastic look at that dial guys yeah we have the hand tag as always by the Saint Martin watches and you guess the brochure and we have also the stamped and handwritten warranty card I need to get used to my new camera so please don't uh, judge this on this first review really nice awesome watch so i choose the pt5000 because this watch performs really really great great looking watch i need to took out the links and make it fit for my head and this one yeah i ordered as it came online really there was no orders I got it as the last person. Ah, really. But here it is. The 6200 homage. So the vintage sub in 38 millimeters. Wow. The bracelet is really nice, but yeah yeah not a review now <laughs> great watch looks fantastic and yeah another guild watch i'm totally in love with the proxima same colorways i think we can compare them a little bit so yeah why not so guys, I think I don't want to bother you more with this unwrappings. I think you guys will enjoy the reviews and like I said, 10 more watches are on their way because I ordered on a single stay and on the Black Friday and yeah, on a Cyber Monday I also ordered a watch so yeah, I can't get enough so guys that's it for now and yeah like i said the reviews will come always as scheduled mondays english reviews and fridays the german review so stay tuned in and yeah if you haven't subscribed now it's time to do it and welcome back guys hope you enjoyed the unboxings and like i said a lot of more watches are on their way so what i want to say um as you can see the format will change a little bit the underground of the table has already changed i bought a new camera a really nice camera so i'm not recording anymore with my phone i know the videos were not so bad as i thought always but it was not on the level which i really like to have and i want to give you more beautiful contents so check out some micro shots now and yeah as you can see there will be a scoring ongoing on my channel so after every review i will make a cargo score so you can check out how many points the watch will get of me i will also provide an excel list uh, for all reviews i want to do in the future and i will add the watch there so you can always check and see how many points did they watch got from me it's all my personal likes and dislikes so it doesn't mean it will be yours so keep that in mind and i really appreciate it that you guys tuning in so i bought also two new studio lights as you can see it's much more better 
and I think the watches came a lot of better in the picture. Also the glaring is almost gone. I can't get it completely rid of but it's a lot of better as before I think. So what else? I also bought as you saw a macro lens. It was not cheap. Um, I spent a few bucks on everything now. So hopefully you guys enjoy the new content and I also bought a time grapher as you can see over there. So in future I can give you more details how good the movement is working. You guys know the time graphers, every YouTuber doing it right now I think. Um, I also want to show you in the next few reviews or maybe another video how you can adjust your watch by yourself. So this watch came with plus 23 seconds I think and now it's running with minus one to minus two seconds a day. So it's almost on a chronometer uh, level but it's an NH35 but it's so easy to adjust these watches I never believed it's so easy, um, yeah you need to be very careful and you can do it if the watch is inside the time grapher. So you always get a live picture of how fast or how slow you are going now. I will make a separate video if you guys want so let me know in the comments and I will provide a video about that, no problems. I also got a diamond selector. I have done my sapphire test always with a water drop test. It's cheap, it's easy, it doesn't cost anything but I thought why not let's get a diamond selector. These things cost not much. I think it was around 10 euros so it's really fine. The time grapher was a little bit more expensive but not as expensive as all the camera setups so I think you guys will enjoy the new stuff. So there is not much to say anymore guys. Thanks for tuning in and yeah, let's see each other on the next review. Bye bye.